Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Up to Fabcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure WinRM service to use HTTPS in Windows Server 2019. If you want to configure WinRM service to use HTTPS, then you need an SSL certificate. You can obtain an SSL certificate from the Public Certification Authority, but in this video, I'm going to use Local Enterprise Root Certification Authority to get an SSL certificate. For this demo, we are using the test lab created in VirtualBox. We have two Windows Server 2019 virtual machines. This is our two main controller named WS2K19-DC01 for mylib.local domain. Already, I have installed and configured Active Directory Certificate Service on our domain controller. So basically, a domain controller is also acting as a local enterprise root certification authority. Already, I have created a video on it that how you can install and configure Active Directory Certificate Services on Windows Server 2019. Link to that video is also given in the description area. This is a member server with the host name WS2K19-SRV01. We will set up WinRM over HTTPS on this member server. WinRM over HTTPS requires a local computer server authentication certificate with a CN matching the host name to be installed. In the first step, we will obtain a certificate from our local certification authority for this member server. And for that, I am going to press Windows R key combination and let's type MMC and press Enter key. Click on File and click on Add and Remove Snap-ins. Select a certificate. Click on Add. Select Computer Account as we need to request a certificate for our computer account. Click Next. Click on Finish and click on OK. Let's expand Certificates and click on Personal. As you can see, the list is empty. Now, let's right click on Personal. All task, request a new certificate as we want to request a new certificate from a local certification authority. So let's click on request new certificate. On before you begin screen, we need to click next. As you can see, active directory enrollment policy is already selected. Click next. At this moment, we have only computer certificate template available for us. If you select this checkbox, that will give you a list of other certificate template, but those are not available for us. Let me clear this and let's select computer certificate and click on enroll. Let's wait for a few seconds. As you can see, status is enrolling. After waiting for a few seconds, our certificate authority will issue a certificate to our computer using the FUDN of this server. As you can see, the status is succeeded. Let's click on finish. Let's click on certificates and we have a one certificate for our local member server. WS2K19-SRV01.mile.local So this certificate is issued to our member server and the issue by our local enterprise root certification authority. Let me show you that as well. Let's go back to the domain controller. Already I have opened Certification Authority Management Console. Let's click on Issued Certificates. Let's right click here and select Refresh. And here, let's see the requester name. This is the name of our member server. Okay. Uh, let's double click on the certificate. So we will use the certificate in WinRM over HTTPS configuration. Fine. Uh, I'm going to minimize it. Once the certificate is installed, we can use a WinRM quick config CMD delete to configure WinRM to listen on HTTPS protocol. Let's open a Windows PowerShell. Let's right click on start button. Windows PowerShell admin. Now to maximize it. Uh, first, I'm going to type command WinRM e winrm slash config slash listener 
Uh, this same delete will display the current listener for OVNRM. Let's press enter key. We can see only HTTP is configured at the moment with port number 5985. Now let's type same delete WinRM quick config and this time we also need to specify hyphen transport which is going to be HTTPS and this time we need to type WinRM space quick config space hyphen transport colon HTTPS in order to configure WinRM over HTTPS. Let's press enter key. Press Y and press enter key. Let's again run previous CMD delete to see the WinRM listener. And this time we can see HTTPS transport with port number 5986 for WinRM. Host name is already mentioned ws2k19 hyphen local and certificate thumbprint is also there. The certificate thumbprint is coming from the certificate which we have obtained from our local certification authority earlier. We can match the thumbprint with the certificate as well. Uh, let's go back and let's double click on the certificate. Let's click on details and let's scroll to bottom and click on thumbprint. We can see thumbprint is 462E9A and you can match this thumbprint with this thumbprint as well. So in short, the thumbprint is seen in the certificate and the output of this listener command. That means WinRM over HTTPS is using the certificate for encryption. Okay. In the next step, we will create a firewall rule to allow traffic for WinRM over HTTPS on a port number 5986. Let's press Windows R key combination together to open run menu, type wf.msc and press enter key. Let's right click on inbound rules. Select new rule. Select port and click on next. Uh, port number is going to be 5986 and protocol is going to be TCP. Okay. Click next. You want to allow the connection and that is selected. Click next. You want to apply this rule for domain profile only. Click next. Specify meaningful name for this rule. I'm giving name allow WinRM over HTTPS traffic. Click on finish. We can confirm that the rule is created successfully and it is top of the rules list. Okay. Now let's minimize it. In the last step, we'll go back to our domain controller to verify that we can connect to this member server using WinRM over HTTPS protocol. Okay, we are on our domain controller. Let's open uh, Windows PowerShell admin. Let's type same delete enter hyphen ps session. Then we need to specify switch have a computer name. Here we need to specify the FQDN of our member server which is ws2k19-srv01.mylab.local and then after we need to specify switch use SSL to use WinRM over HTTPS. Let's press enter key. Let's wait for a few seconds to establish the connection. We can see the connection to our member server is created successfully using WinRM over HTTPS. Let's type same delete get hyphen net TCP connection and the state is going to be established. Okay, uh, we want to run the same delete to get the list of established sessions to this uh, member server. We can see the session coming from our domain controller to our member server on port number 5986. That means a domain controller is connected to a member server using WinRM over HTTPS protocol. That concludes the video on how to configure WinRM service to use HTTPS protocol in Windows Server 2019. Thank you all for watching this video. 
Have a nice day.